Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talk Some More. So we have good news and bad news and something to think about. So in the UK, we see a big owner today of nightclubs say that they won't use jab passports. Here we see nightclub chain won't ask for COVID passport despite rules. Having to provide a vaccine passport to enter a nightclub, they say, would create a barrier to both customer enjoyment and getting the industry back on its feet. Now, this should be applauded. It says here, Chief Executive of Recom UK, which owns 42 nightclubs, including chains Prism, Bar and Beyond, Eden and Fiction, he said that he was thrilled that the nightclubs would be able to finally open on Monday the 19th of July. Peter Mark said that they were intending to do this at full capacity. He added that customers would not be required to present proof of a negative test, as this is something we believe could create a barrier to both customer enjoyment and getting the industry back on its feet. So again, this is good. And any nightclub, pub, shop, whatever it is that uses this passport system, they should be boycotted and called out online. Let other people know that they should be avoided because at, at the end of it all, they are just creating and enabling division in society and are working hand in hand with the psychos who are attempting to bring this misery in. Now, here's the bad news. After Boris Johnson's speech yesterday, the government put this up on their website. It says here, if sufficient measures are not taken to limit infection, the government will consider mandating the NHS COVID pass in certain venues at a later date. So they are already talking about legally forcing venues to use this piece of crap digital tracking enslavement app because they know they know people don't want it. They know businesses don't want to use it. So they are already planning on forcing them to use it by creating a law. But let's face it now, these countries and governments have completely forsaken any higher moral ground. These governments are now acting, well, they are dictatorships and authoritarian regimes. And when this happens, laws really just go out the window. I mean, if you've got a bunch of nutters creating any law they deem fit in order to force you into a corner you don't want to go into, while simultaneously talking about democracy and freedom, well, they are full of shit. The typical authoritarian playbook, the first strategy, is to weaken society. That is to divide and rule. This can be clearly seen in what these governments across the world are doing. Look at these passports. It's clearly an attempt at creating division. We need more civil disobedience. That includes businesses. The businesses have to be on board. And any business that refuses this needs to be supported. These laws are being enforced. Nobody wants them. These are not governments serving the public. And this is not just in the UK. As I said last night, in France, doing exactly the same thing. In Ireland, doing exactly the same thing. In Israel, and so on. So yeah, civil disobedience, civil resistance can come in many forms and there are many examples from other countries where it has been successful in the past. But you need numbers, big numbers, which there is if you look at the recent Freedom March in London, but it needs to be a way of waging conflict in a non-violent manner in order to disrupt and confront the opposition so that supporters of the opposition start to question what they're supporting so that it creates loyalty shifts within the elite. And we can get more into this type of thing on later videos if you want me to, let me know. So there you go, some good news, some bad news. But as you can see, these governments, you know, they say, oh, let's, we'll let businesses decide if they want to use passports. It's up to them. Once again, lying because they are working on putting laws in that will force them to do it. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, a place for like-minded souls who don't follow the fake stream media.